we're here for a week and we go to class during the day and see the city at night. Well, conferences, concerts, and other major events are starting to return to New Orleans. It's the latest sign that we are slowly moving beyond the pandemic. That's right, but as business owners and local leaders know, there is still a lot of work to do for the tourism industry to recover financially. WDSU's Morgan Lentis is live in the CBD with that story tonight. Morgan. Is and for optimism, the city just finished hosting its largest convention since the pandemic started. But if you talk to local business owners, they will tell you things are not back to normal just yet. There is something about New Orleans that you simply can't find anywhere else. The soul. It has soul. A lot of big cities don't have heart. New Orleans always has soul. That's why Mandy Dugan keeps coming back. This time, she and her friends are in town for a conference. We have doctors that fly in from all different countries. Officials with New Orleans and Company say the American Academy of Ophthalmology Convention is the largest the city has hosted since the pandemic started. It is the latest sign of hope for business owners still struggling to recover from COVID. Yes, we are back on track, certainly better than 12 months ago, uh, infinitely better. Sidney Smith owns Haunted History Tours in the French Quarter. His business, which sits across the street from Preservation Hall and Pat O'Brien's, almost closed for good last summer. He says bookings are up, but he's still not back to pre-pandemic levels. We usually have a massive Halloween, you know, with the tours, Haunted History Tours. This year, it was good. It was not massive. Smith and local leaders agree people who work in the tourism industry will still need financial support in 2022 so the city can hold on to its soul. With the music and the people and I, that's what I really wanted to experience being here and I think I've achieved it already. So tourism officials went before the city council this morning saying they plan to continue providing grants to culture bears, musicians, artists and other people who have been impacted by the pandemic. So far this year, they've handed out $1.2 million. Reporting live in the CBD, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.